first off, uh, credit to them. I thought they came out on fire as we expected. Big home game for them, the energy of the crowd today. And, and they play really well. Um, they didn't make many mistakes, they didn't get as many chances. Um, even with their injuries on defense, once again, uh, they showed up. They've done it for years now. And they find a way to play great defense regardless who's in there. I um, thought really the game was uh, kind of a couple different games, really. You know, I thought our defense was playing well at times there early um, after the long run. And then um, and then we're moving the ball at times, and then all of a sudden, you know, we could only get field goals out of it. And you're not going to go on a road versus a really good team and win with a bunch of field goals and, and a red zone turnover. I thought that really changed the game at that point. You know, really great play by Montez. I don't even think he's supposed to be out there. I think he just went on his own because he was coming inside like he was blitzing. So Matt went to throw the screen and, and um, he made a great play. And then um, I was extremely proud of our team in the third quarter. You know, that's a, it's a we're a young team. I think we started five count kickers, six freshmen. Um, I don't think they, I don't think they started any freshmen on, on offense and defense. So they're a veteran team. That's why, um, you know, they're really good. And they got a lot of players that played a lot of snaps. So unfortunately, what happens um, sometimes with a bunch of young players, um, things showed up. But I was proud of the way we responded. Took the lead, you know, in, in a tough environment. Versus a really good team, you know, everything against us came out in the third quarter, and then it kind of went back to falling apart. And um, you know, a lot of, a lot of the mistakes and the issues there were these guys didn't play very much. So um, we're going to get ready for a big game next week. You know, we're 3 and 1, season's not over. A lot of teams would like to be 3 and 1, so um, go back and get ready to play good Arizona. <laughs> Um, you talked about the young players. Obviously, some of the mistakes were made by veterans like Matt Barkley and TJ McDonald. You talked about Barkley's performance and also the personal fouls that were called against TJ. Yeah, I don't know how you coach out of the first two. Um, you know, we talk all the time about targeting and um, when the receiver's defenseless because he's running the route and the ball's over the top of him. Uh, you know, when the ball's overthrown and you can't go hit him in the air and target him. But when the runner's running at you and you go to tackle him, I mean, it is his job to get out of the way. So I, mean, I, I really don't know how you approach that unless you tell him to just be a bad tackler. So and then obviously the late hit, we took him out and talked to him and cooled him down. Um, that was disappointing. What about Matt? Well, I thought Matt did some good things at times. Um, the, the interception is not his fault. I mean, it's a screen play. It's a jailbreak screen. You know, and Bontes makes a great play. I and mean, never is the guy that's sitting right there involved in there. I mean, it was just a you know free play. So um, you know, that's not really his fault. But I thought he made some good throws and. Did some good things versus a really good defense, and you know, um, didn't have a lot of time at times. You faced a different offense tonight. Uh, what did you make of the tackling on defense? Yeah, you know, I showed up again. You know, we, we got spread out again, and we showed up in space. Um, you know, I thought it wasn't as bad as sometimes last year, but it showed up again, unfortunately. They kept running that play over and over. It looked like it's not the same way. <laughs> we didn't finally stop it. <laughs> we tackled it for a one yard loss. Is that have they done that in all their games this year? Yeah, they've done it some. You know, it's just a play, it's a tough play to defend. You know, you're gonna give up the completion usually on it, but you, you gotta make the first tackle. And so many times we missed the first tackle, so instead of being three and four yards, it was ten yards. So um, you know, that's a play we run and um, you know they do a good job at just throwing the ball there really quick and you've gotta get your outside leverage, you've gotta make the play right there. And so it's a three, four yard game, it's just a long run. Did you get the sense that because they were no huddling, because it was hot, that the defense was gassed at all or kind of on, on its heels at times? Well, I, I don't think that was really the key. I think really, as you study the, last year's game, when you look at this year's game from the early observations, I felt like that happened last year and this year game on both sides, really. You know, if you go to that third quarter and early fourth quarter, I felt like they looked tired on defense, too. And I just think that's just in general when you play in these up-tempo games and um, I thought that it was the same way at our place last year. And as those drives go, you get a little winded. And, um, so I thought it was kind of both ways. Really. And that's why I was getting excited at that point because we were moving it. And it got all screwed up. You know, we moved it. I think we started maybe a minus 10 or something. We drive all the way down. We have a second and two. And then Curtis gets knocked back. And that moves us into the third down, which leads us into the sack, cause fumble, and then the game just changes. I mean, that, you're going to score right there. And so I think the score really, you know, as you look at it on the surface, really didn't dictate really the game. You know, I thought the game felt a lot closer. I mean, we had the lead, and then um, we're going down to take it again. You know, I had a lot of success getting to Osweiler last week. What, what do you attribute the, the lack of uh, pressure on them um, from your defensive line? Well, I thought really that they they did a good job today of countering that. You know, 
think how many balls you saw thrown downfield. There's so many balls thrown either behind the line of scrimmage or within five yards. And so I think they knew that, you know, hey, hey they were exposed last week or something. They did a great job of adjusting and I'm getting the ball out really quick. The running game just couldn't get going today, aside from a couple sparks from Tyler. Can you just talk about that? Yeah, I thought that I kind of I thought that, that was true in the first half for sure. It didn't get going, but then I thought we did get it going, and it was doing I didn't have the staff in front of me, but um, I felt like in the third quarter and early fourth it started moving, and we opened them up in the first drive in the second half. You know, in continual in continuing to try to get a balance going here. You know, it, it, that's happening to us. We're running the ball to try to stay balanced so that we don't get into the game where Matt's getting hit all the time, which is what happened late in the game because we got down. And um, unfortunately, we haven't got it going early, and so we've had to go back to the pass in these games to open them back up and then go back to the run, and, and it worked. And then, then when we got down, and then we had to throw, and then we went right back to it. We can't throw the ball 50 times. I mean, we just can't. We're not 2005. You know, we don't have that protection, and we can't do it. So we have got to try to fight for balance, and it's what we did at times, and at times it didn't work. Do you have any concern about a loss like this going into something more? This is a young team, and last season you guys started off great, but then when you had that first loss, is there any concern about a loss like this growing into something more? Well, there could be, but I, I think this, I know this team is going to stay together. Um, they're going to they're be strong, and uh, they're going to fight through it three and one. You know, when you, you talk about last year, same thing happened. The first loss happened, and everybody thought, okay, you know, the end of the world's coming. We lose to Washington. We go back and basically have a Stanford game one, you know, at what ends up being one of the best teams in the country at their place. So um, they'll fight back and um, we'll get ready for a big game next week. You had a couple of coach. third and longs in the first quarter and you ran. Were you try just worried not to have a turnover early in the game to change momentum or keep field position? Yeah, I think you go on the road. Um, and you got to play smart at times. You're getting those and all of a sudden that wind was kicking up. And, um, I think you saw what happened a little bit later when we were forced into throwing situations, and so that could have been happening right then. And now all of a sudden the game's out of reach early, so um, you got to play field position at times, um, just like you need a spark at times, just like we went for it on mid, you know, at midfield on that drive and getting us three points out of that. Thank you.